Hello and welcome to the 13th of February. I went to the gym this morning, did a 45 minute pump class, which is a weights class. I then went off to um, Home Bargains looking for these containers here. So I used these in my fridge and I've got a couple of them in my fridge but I wanted a few more for my cupboards to keep sauces and things because I like the size of them and I tested them with the ones that I want and they fit and all that but they've been sold out for days now so originally I picked them up from pound stretches but today I thought I'll go and check again and in I went and I managed to get them so I just picked up three while I was there I only needed two but I picked up three because I'm that person that always you know, the just in case type of person, same as I am with my handbags, um, and ended up with all of this. Deary me. I mean, honestly, look, all I needed was this, and I needed probably this for um, cleaning my leather sweet. Uh, so we'll see. I normally use wipes, but I decided to go for this. All of this, all of this, all of this, and this was from Home Bargains and this here, not this, but this here was from B&M. So in Home Bargains, bearing in mind all I went in f was these, these are like one ninety nine each. I ended up spending £47.97 and and then because B&M's next door, I thought I'd pop into there as well. And ended up spending 18 45 in there. Ridiculous. I've taken it all out the bags to make it easier. So I picked these up, which my husband is going to be fuming because he hates them. He thinks they are the ugliest things. And especially because they're plastic. He thinks they're ugly. But I just want to hang them out like either side of the garage because you know like through the winter when we're not really planting anything in hanging baskets I think they will be ideal and just kind of brighten the place up but he hates them so he's got I'm, I'm just expecting him to moan about them they were 4 99 each then I got three of these these are fridge tidies these are the thinner ones you can get the bigger ones but these are the thinner ones but I've already got a few of these in my fridge but I'm going to use these in my cupboard for sauce bottles and things like that. Then I thought, well, you know, it's, the, it's that time of year where we buy these cigs. Let's just get them and get them out of the way because the boys all like peanut butter. And you know what I went through with the um, advent calendars and the peanut butter advent calendars. So I got these for all the peanut butter lovers in the family, including Theo, who loves peanut butter. Do you know what? I should have actually got one of them for Georgie because she absolutely loves peanut butter too. But I ended up getting her this one instead, which has got a spoon and a bowl and a cup in it and a little egg. And I got the same for Anna, which she'll not be able to use, but I'm sure Theo will um, enjoy the egg in there and they can put away the spoon and the bowl and the cup for Anna. And these are for Rico and myself. They'll go in my chocolate jar just here, which at the moment only has three champagne truffles in it. That's my knee thing because I'm getting a wee bit of jip with my knee. It's probably because I'm overdoing it at the gym. Uh, it's my friend's birthday, so I just picked that up because I am that person. They'll go, oh, it's so-and-so's birthday. Oh, it's so-and-so. And then the day it will come and go and I've not picked up the birthday card. So I thought, let's just get it. And actually, it's my son's birthday before my friend's birthday and I didn't get one for him. But we'll organise that. Then a few cleaning products. And this is the section where I go into the part where Mrs. Hinch made me do it. And... Honestly, I'm that person that go, really, do you need to do that? You know, I am a clean freak. So anyway, but that aside, I've fallen for the hype and I'm doing it like everybody else, you know, things like this. So this is just my multi-purpose um, Mr. Sheen that I like to use. I just, I get that. But I did buy, have I got it here? Yeah, here it is. I did pick this up. Now, I know I the last time I was buying something what's it called I can't remember it'll be in my empties video but that particular thing that I was using to clean my windows which was very very good but it was £10 a bottle and I had to order it and I couldn't be bothered with all that nonsense so I thought I'm going to try Mrs Hinch's recommendation Astonish Window Glass Cleaner 
and actually really liked it so i thought i'm going to try some more products from this brand which i have done so i've picked up the kitchen cleaner honestly i think all these things are the same but i just got it it's cheap anyway so i picked up a kitchen cleaner and i'm picking some of these up as well to take to cypress with me just so i've got them ready to use because you know what i'm like you know other people have been living in my house in cyprus and i kind of need these good old hands to give it a good old scrub so i picked up a daily shower shine i don't normally use a shower shine it's rico that likes to spray the shower with a shower shower shine i don't i just wipe mine down so picked them up like i said normally use leather wipes but decided to give this a go i also picked up this Dettol um spray disinfectant again this was a mrs hinch recommendation i picked one up a few weeks ago and absolutely loved it so i've got another one so i'm either going to put that in the case for cypress or because i'm still using the other one but i'll see how it go i don't normally use um wipes but i thought i'll just grab a packet of them as well this is a wax burner which i use but this one is for cypress this one's tiny but it'll do i'm going to take that to cypress and got some extra wax melts as well that's why i picked that one up i normally keep my um wax burner in the kitchen just on the windowsill over there just there and <laughs> now this is a definite mrs hinch made me do it a dishmatic this is not the kind of thing i would normally use i like to hold on to the sponge and use elbow grease but you know like i said fell for the hype so whatever she's doing she's doing well i can't believe i've fallen for the hype picked up these because these are a dupe for her minky so these feel rough on the one side and smooth on the other I can actually see these working well actually sponges like do i need sponges no these like i said in my last vlog um i'm needing i'm just needing some new ones for the main bathroom so i've got another set of them nice and fluffy and these are what we use to shower with and we needed a couple of new ones here and i'm going to take a couple to cyprus with me as well and uh, these were only like 49 pence each look really cheap that was like 2.99 um, and i think this was 1.99 yep 1.99 um this was reduced to a pound so yeah all of these things are all around about a pound nothing's more than a pound picked these up these are supposed to be really good for um sticking things up so these actually don't ruin whatever you're sticking them onto damage free hanging hooks command so i looked for them during christmas time they were sold out everywhere and these are the types that you use for frames and i just got them because just in case i need them you know because i'm that type of person like i said so that was my today's haul so i'm gonna go and hang these on the garage now and get ready for my husband's moan moan i'm now going to go and get ready for the gym i'm going to go and do a step class and then what i'm going to do look at my cute dogs they're just beautiful my beautiful girls are you just beautiful that one's lily and that one's lulu you're beautiful and it's oh lulu it's your birthday today it's the 13th of february oh lulu it's your birthday oh my beautiful girl Happy birthday, darling. Happy birthday, my beautiful girl. I just remembered that it was her birthday. When I come back from the gym, I want to organise this area here because lots of George's toys shoved under there and this, I, I cannot do this. This was supposed to be an office area. This used to be the boys' room that they used to play in and then we kind of made it more of an adult area. But... Um, and now it's becoming a toy area again so i want to organize this area so i'm probably going to put all of these in boxes like activity boxes jigsaw boxes books that kind of thing all needs reorganizing i mean these boxes up here are all full of toys as well that was theo's cars in there which georgie enjoys playing with now as well so i'm going to get all of this reorganized that is the aim for today i need to really actually tidy all of this away first And 
this is what I bought from Aldi's. Bearing in mind, you know me, go in to buy today's dinner and come out with everything else. So I just got a roast chicken for today's dinner. And I've got some pak choy in the fridge, which I'll boil up as well. And maybe some salad. I don't know. I've got some leftover potatoes from yesterday's dinner, so I don't need to make potatoes. Um, right, cleaning things. I've got toothpaste so we can take to Cyprus. And I do realise I can buy all these things in Cyprus. It just makes life a lot easier because it's things that I know and they're there. I'll open my suitcase and they're there. So, toothpaste. Um, these that are for the toilet. Got one packet for here and one packet from for Cyprus. These are the diffusers that I like to use from Aldi's and this one is the Velvety Rose. I didn't really have a good selection so I just got that one. Um, I've and the only other one they had was pomegranate. Was it pomegranate? No, it wasn't. It was fig. Is it fig that I've got in the downstairs toilet? I'm not really a great fan of it. Got refills for my plugins that I use here. Just got some tomatoes and onions. Got a cake mix for which I like to have in the house for Georgie. Passes the time with her. And just thought I'd try these. These look good. Popcorn, salted caramel, and almond pretzel bars and then there's this one peanut and sunflower seed bars popcorn um they are only 92 calories so great for snacking so it's 92 calories a bar i don't know how big the bars are right in there let's have a look probably tiny one way to find out oh not bad actually hmm i'll let you know what they're like if i remember some more chocolates for my little chocolate jar which is over there just there just to refill that uh, so it's Valentine's so I'm making dinner as a little treat for us and I just picked up these two millionaires cheesecake pots as well Federico and I got us a couple of bottles of wine got a Chardonnay for Rico and a uh, Sauvignon Blanc for me. Just got some cheese spread which will be good kind of once the cake is made just to put it over and it's good for different things. Not something I normally buy but I saw it, I picked it up as you do. Some cheeses, some soft cheese. Georgie loves soft cheese, we love soft cheese, Rico loves soft, no, well, we love cheese in general and we haven't had soft cheese in a while so I got that and it's really easy for Georgie. That's the low fat one and soft cheese here and got some um slices of cheese here halloumi which you know i love halloumi remember i had a wee flaky when i realized my mom would never be able to eat halloumi again i know strange person that i am uh, some scottish butteries i love these toasted with peanut butter on <laughs> people don't normally have peanut butter on them but i love them just love the gooiness of it these I'm going to take with me and crush and put into the gollifa because I like the flour. It gives the gollifa more cheese and just some little gem lettuce for salad. Oh, and this hot sauce. This is the second one I've ever bought. I bought one last time I bought. I never tried it before, but I actually really love it. I might actually take this one to Cyprus. Actually, actually. So, yeah, better get cooking. So I have organised Georgie's toys. So in here it's all her activities, that's her main box that she's got her chalkboard in, her play doh, her dollies, that is her main box. Up here is really Theo's box, that's all the cars, but I must say Georgie does enjoy playing with the cars. In here I have all the jigsaws, so I've kind of got them separated here, are the ones that Georgie would do and on this side are the ones that Theo would do and right at the bottoms are the ones that we would do. In here I have everything to do with the garage and cars so that's another main one for Theo and I've also got the train set but again Georgie loves to enjoy that. So that means if I get that box down and she finishes playing with that we can pack that away and get the next one up and keep things organised because I am that weirdo that likes everything organised. So down here apart from the Duplo here and the kind of seesaw toy for Georgie. We have all Rico's office things that he uses. So his laptop is packed away. He likes it packed away in a in a case like that. His kind of business cards, his printer, his um shredder 
just here and I think it's a guillotine we used to call these you know where you cut paper we used to call it a guillotine I don't know if that's what it's called um, so that's that area all of these drawers have been organized as well so stationery glitters glues all that sorts of thing we've tidied these we've organized these drawers here this is Rico's filing cabinet but I'll sit with him and we'll organise that because Rico's filing system and my filing system are totally different. I'm going to go through all of these books again as well. Here's my Encyclopedia Britannica, which just now is an antique, but I love it. And it says there, that's just books, um, classic books, DVDs and things here. And Rico shoved some things in here, which I am going to reorganise. See, it's very good, Rico, at sh just shoving things, and that drives me blinking crazy. <sighs> in here is all the photograph albums. We have all the photograph albums in here. So I'm going to reorganise. What I've been doing is... Um, I've been giving the boys their baby albums, so just here are Costa's baby albums. So I'm going to be taking them out and give them to Costa. I've still got looks, so that's um, Costa's baby albums here, at George's baby albums, some at the back there. And just kind of start handing them to the boys and they can do what they want with them. So, yeah. In here we keep all newspaper cuttings and things like that. If Lily is just there, enjoying the view. Hello and welcome to the 16th, is it? Yes, it's Saturday the 16th of February. I'm waiting for Luke Mario to arrive from Edinburgh. It's his friend's birthday and he's going to go out with his friends. He's not really coming to see Mama. So I'm going to put a pot of soup on for him. It's a Greek soup that we make, avogo lemony. It's made with egg and lemon. I know it sounds awful but absolutely delicious. And we add halloumi as well, or at least I do. So I need to get that uh, on for him and I'm going to go and film a tag video now. Um, yes, the tag video is five luxury items I wouldn't buy no matter the hype. I just did an Instagram story and I couldn't for the life of me remember what the tag was. But yeah, that's a tag I'm going to do. So where are we at? What's happening in my life now? Well. I've started the ball rolling, blah, 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 blah. I've started the ball rolling, I cannot speak, I've had too much Nespresso. Um, I've started the roll, rolling, no I haven't, I've started the ball rolling. <laughs> I've started the ball rolling with the house in Cyprus. So I've given the go ahead for the bedroom doors to be changed because we have verandas all around the house and each room has it ha and each room has doors that open up onto the veranda now the back bedroom was the doors of the back bedroom were quite secluded and that was the um, room that was getting broken into and they were getting access to the house and what happens is they don't just break into the house they steal the shutters so i have metal shutters on all the doors but metal is worth a lot of money in cyprus and they steal the shutters and because the house was empty it was easy to do the house is not empty now um so anyway so i've got a price that's so over a thousand euros just to change the shutters on that door and the glass um the security is going to be upped as well but the only thing is I've decided to go with white shutters on that door because I want to eventually change all the shutters and the rest of the shutters are brown but anyway one thing at a time this is what I'm learning now one thing at a time I have to think what's important to get done and um, because unfortunately money doesn't grow on trees so um yeah so that's getting done when I go over I'm going to change the back door as well so I want to change that and I'm also waiting for a price to get um, the bathroom painted and the main bedroom painted as well so it's livable for me to go somebody else could live in it just now but just to make it livable for me and then just kind of then take more notes what's more important so I'll be living in the house 
when I go next time and all that should be done the house should be clean and um, yeah I'm going to order a bed as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Ikea over here have a look at the beds decide which one I want and order it via the internet <laughs> yeah no. Uh, from the Ikea in Limassol in Cyprus and have that delivered and probably get them to build it as well so it's all ready for me arriving and hopefully I'll order quilts and things from Ikea as well saves me having to um, take them so I feel things are moving things are moving so yeah um, also look today I'm wearing a top that belonged to my mum but I kind of last night went into my mum's room and took out some things which were basically done um, so got rid of some of that put some stuff in charity bags and what I want to keep for myself I'm keeping for myself so I'm, I'm getting there I'm starting to kind of do things which is good in this house I want to change this um, carpet but I don't think I'm going to do any of that now I'm going to sort things out in Cyprus make that kind of livable and then come back change this whole carpet and um, decorate my mum's room is what I'm planning to do so I certainly won't be buying any handbags anytime soon or anything like that but hey ho hey ho I'm sure if I see a handbag I like I'll get it yeah right going to get myself a glass of wine and I'm going to go and film because we need to do cheers when we're filming I was um, having this Australian Sauvignon Blanc which is actually very nice it's also been requested I do I discuss the wine that I drink I'm a Sauvignon Blanc drinker but I will do maybe a little video on that and have Rico with me because he's really the expert when it comes to wines I just know what I like and what I don't like through tasting he could tell me before I could tell myself which wines I like he seems to um, know the type of wines I could you could put me a Greek wine hide the label and I'll know it's a Greek wine you could put me a Californian wine and I know um, it would be a, I just know the different it's almost the body of the wine um, and they all have a significant taste which makes sense because of the weather and things like that but I've had that many wines that I can kind of tell you about that but I am a Sauvignon Blanc drinker I can drink Chardonnay but it has to be the kind of more expensive Chardonnays like um, Chablis and things like that so um, yeah Look is home Do you want some uh, discussing uh, cooking Separate oregano yeah. Oh it's amazing so different yeah, mm -hmm. I'll give you a wee container. The container's up here. I can fill one for you. Do it tomorrow. Don't, don't yeah, remind me. The we might as well do it now before you forget. I have Luke's soup on. Getting prepped. Rico's putting on a pork joint. Good morning and welcome to the 20th of February. I haven't been vlogging because I have not been well. Although I've still been um, trying to make the gym. The thought behind that is I'm going to sweat it out my system. So yeah, today's the day I will have Georgie. So the plan today is we are going to bake a cake and I've got some a tube of icing for her to decorate it. That's the plan. That's the plan. So we will bake a cake. Georgie will decorate it. I plan to meet my friend at the gym at about quarter to two because I was saying to her I was going to take Georgie down to the gym and she can play in the play area. She said, I'll just meet you for a coffee. So the tables are right at the play area. I mean, I'm right there next to Georgie. So I might do that, see how it goes. I said to her I would text her, but just in case Georgie goes down for a nap and see how Georgie's feeling. So um, yeah, that's the plan for today. Bake a cake. We've got, I've got fish here defrosting for dinner so I've got salmon and lemon so defrosting for dinner so I've got washing load on going I've got tumble dryer going on I'm trying to get all that done before Georgie arrives I've been to the gym I've done a 45 minute pump class plan is to go back tonight later on tonight because 
um, George and Ruth are both working late tonight so um, I'm planning to go back and do a blaze class but late late on um, don't know if that's gonna happen right now I'm gonna poach myself a couple of eggs because I'm hungry after the gym and I don't really eat before I go to the gym so that's my plan for today throat is killing me well it's not killing me but you know what I mean I've got my poacher pan there so the water is just boiling up I'm gonna have two poached eggs so I'm going to grease these with olive oil break my egg into them add salt and pepper and then just put them in the pan and let them do their thing There we go. So while they're poaching, I'm going to make myself some toast. Still haven't bought myself a new toaster, but it's still working. <laughs> I'll leave that to toast and get the washing out. Here we go. And there's no softener in the washing because I've got my dusters in there. And you're not supposed to use softener with dusters or gym gear. Just that I tell you that. So I just add some of these comfort pearls just to um, add a nice scent to the washing as I'm not using softener really been enjoying this limited edition what's it called I don't know what it's called now and I've thrown the packaging away but it looks like that anyway I just have a basic Nespresso machine does the job and I just use the same cup I haven't washed it out let's see mm -hmm. how are these doing looking good Coffee, toast is ready. One, two, simple as that. Is my eggs ready? Just on there, yummy, perfect. And and Lulu's there waiting, and so is Lily. Two toast, two poached eggs, coffee, ready for me to sit down. Just before I sit down, I'm going to uh, dry my washing machine and then just leave the door open, because that's what you're supposed to do. Georgie has her rack sack. What's that? Who's this? And what else? You've got a brush as well. This is Georgie's rack sack. Uh-huh. What else have you got in your bag? Show me what else you've got in your lake. This is lovely. It's got feet on it as well. What else is in there? Yeah. Oh, something sounds... <gasps> you got Chris? Yeah. yeah. What else have you got in your bag? Let me see. Another toy? What's that? Um. What? Oh, wow. See, I don't know who these characters are. Yeah. Am I supposed to know yet? What else have we got in there? What else is in there? Let me see. Oh, what's that? Raisins? Yummy. What else? All done. Is it all done? Let me see. Oh, it's all empty. Do you want to put them back in? No. No? Or you want to? Oh, wow. 